the dinosaur is lost. George's favourite toy is Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> George loves Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Sometimes George likes to scare Pepper with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> At supper time, Mr Dinosaur sits next to George. I beg your pardon? Was that you, George, or was it Mr. Dinosaur? Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> At bath time, George shares his bath with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Good night, Pepper. Good night, Bobby. Good night, George, and good night, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> when George goes to bed, Mr. Dinosaur is tucked up with him. George's favourite game is throwing Mr Dinosaur up in the air Whee! and catching him when he falls back down. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Pepper and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. <laughs> I win, Daddy! <laughs> oh, well done, Pepper. George? George, what's the matter? I'm sore. George, have you lost Mr. Dinosaur? George has lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. We'll find Mr. Dinosaur. It's a job for a detective. Daddy, what is a detective? A detective is a very important person who is good at finding things. Me, me! I'm good at finding things. All right, Peppa is the detective. George, I'm the detective. I will help you find Mr. Dinosaur. Maybe the detective should ask George some simple questions. George, where's Mr. Dinosaur? George does not know where Mr. Dinosaur is. The detective could try and guess where Mr. Dinosaur might be. I know. I know where he is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur with him in the bath. So Mr. Dinosaur is in the bath. Mr. Dinosaur is not in the bath. Oh. I know. I know where Mr. Dinosaur is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur in his bed at night. See, so that's where he is. Mr. Dinosaur is not in George's bed. Oh. Maybe we should try the garden. Yes, the garden! <laughs> I was going to say that. Where is Mr. Dinosaur? Mr. Dinosaur is very hard to find. Oh, Mr. Dinosaur isn't anywhere. George? You do love to throw Mr. Dinosaur in the air. I wonder if this time you threw Mr. Dinosaur just a bit too high. There he is! There he is! I saw him first! Well done, Pepper. You really are a very good detective. <laughs> I'm sure. George is so happy Wee. to have Mr. Dinosaur back again. Wee. <laughs> Maybe it isn't a good idea to play with dinosaurs near trees. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Best friend. Pepper is waiting for her best friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper loves Susie. Susie loves Pepper. They are best friends. 
<laughs> Peppa, why don't you and Susie go and play in your bedroom? Yes, Bubby. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing in Peppa's bedroom. So does George. No, George. This game is just for big girls. Go and play with your own toys. Peppa and Susie want to play on their own. I'm a tiny little fairy princess. <laughs> to wave my magic wand <laughs> and turn you into a frog. <laughs> George doesn't like playing on his own. George wants to play too. No, George. I'm playing with Susie. You have to play somewhere else. George wants to play with Pepper. He feels a bit lonely. George, I need some help. I'm making chocolate chip cookies. Someone needs to lick out the bowl. <laughs> George likes helping Mummy make cookies. But he likes playing with Pepper more. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> hmm. I think your heart's a bit loose. Help with a plaster on it. <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh dear, you're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh no, what's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy, it's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear it rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. <laughs> 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 Polly Parrot Pepper and her family are visiting Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> ones, come inside. We have a surprise. What is it? We have a new pet. Can you guess what it is? Dinosaur? No, it's not a dinosaur. Come and see. Ah! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have a pet parrot. Pepper, George, this is our pet parrot. She's called Polly. Pretty Polly. Ah! Pretty Polly! Wow! 
I am a clever parrot. Ah, I'm a clever parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why does Polly copy everything that Granny says? That's what parrots do. I'll show you. Hello, Polly. Hello, Polly. What a sweet little parrot. What a sweet little parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Tea time. Pepper, George, come on. There's chocolate cake. Come in, Granny. <laughs> Pepper and George love eating chocolate cake, but today they are in a hurry to get back and play with Polly Parrot. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> what noisy little ones you are. Granny, please can we leave the table? And go and see Polly Parrot. Are you sure you've completely finished your cake? <laughs> Off you go then. Hooray! <laughs> George, say something to Polly. George is a little bit shy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Peppa and George are really enjoying playing with Polly Parrot. I'm Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> George, say something. Pepper and George are pretending to be parrots. <laughs> I Polly Parrot. <laughs> Pepper is thinking of something else to say to Polly Parrot. I'm a noisy parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, have you been playing with Polly? Yes, Granny. Polly is such a sweet parrot. Yes, Granny. I'm a clever parrot. I'm a noisy parrot. <laughs> George are playing hide and seek. It is George's turn to hide. He must quickly find somewhere to hide before Pepper finishes counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> George has Eight, found somewhere to hide. Nine, just in time. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Pepper has to find where George is hiding. Found you! Pepper has found George. George, I could see you too easily. Now it is Pepper's turn to hide. One, um, three. I'll help George to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, George, open your eyes. George has to find where Pepper is hiding. Oh. Pepper isn't hiding under the table. 
George, have you thought of looking upstairs? <laughs> Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? George has found where Pepper was hiding. George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. But George isn't very good at hiding. I'm sure he'll be better this time. Close your eyes and start counting. One. Two. Oh, three, dear. Pepper will easily four, find George. Five. George. Six, come over here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, George isn't hiding under the table. But George always hides under the table. Have you thought of looking upstairs? I know where he is. George is in the toy basket. Oh. George is not in the toy basket. Where can he be? Pepper cannot find George anywhere. Daddy, I can't find George anywhere. Oh dear, I wonder where he can be. <laughs> Actually, I think there's something about George in this newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> George! Found you! <laughs> oh, George! That was a good place to hide! <laughs> George was hiding behind Daddy Pig's newspaper all the time! <laughs> Peppa and George are going to the playgroup. It is George's first day. George, are you looking forward to the playgroup? <laughs> Daddy, maybe George is too small to go to my playgroup. He'll be fine, Peppa. There'll be you and Mr. Dinosaur there to keep him company. Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> But I want to play with the big children, not George and his toy dinosaur. Oh dear, Peppa doesn't want George to go to her playgroup. We're here. Daddy, are you sure George is big enough? He'll be fine. <laughs> All right, he could come. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle looks after the children at the playgroup. Hello. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> Is that a dinosaur? <coughs> it's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <coughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah! <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> That's brilliant. 
George is my brother. <coughs> He's brilliant. <coughs> Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. <coughs> yes, I'm very good. <coughs> I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. <coughs> First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. <coughs> now you paint the flower's petals. George, <coughs> that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. Perfect. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grr. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. No. <laughs> it is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? Dinosaur. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint a dinosaur. <coughs> brilliant. Yes, brilliant. <coughs> brilliant. <laughs> Mummy Pig at work. Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Daddy Pig is making soup for lunch. Daddy, can we go and watch Mummy on her computer? Yes, as long as you don't disturb her. She has a lot of important work to do today. Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has a lot of important work to do. Mummy, can George and I sit on your lap and watch you work? Yes, if you both sit quietly. <laughs> Peppa and George love to watch Mummy work on the computer. Mummy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? <coughs> we can play Happy Mrs Chicken later, but now I have to work. Mummy, <coughs> can we help you work? No, Peppa, you mustn't touch the computer. <coughs> and George, you mustn't touch the computer either. Yes, George, you mustn't do this. Peppa, stop! Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh, dear. The computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig! What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, can you mend the computer? Um. I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. 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 Um, maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs. Chicken? Maybe you should ask Mummy Pig. Mummy said that we can play it later. Well, that's OK, then. But I don't know where the disc is. It's my turn. <laughs> what on earth is going on? <laughs> Well, I see the computer is working again. George is playing with his ball in the garden. <laughs> Pepper wants to play too. George, you're doing it all wrong. This is how to catch a ball. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> That's what you do. What a cheeky little one Pepper is. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Pepper is teasing George just a bit too much. Pepper, have you been teasing George? Not really, Mummy. I was teaching him how to catch. Really? Oh, well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Pepper, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. You have to throw the ball to each other and I have to try and catch it. I'm the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Pepper wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Pepper, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! Got it. George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch. <laughs> catch 
catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch. Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper, you shouldn't tease George like that. Sorry, George. <laughs> What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play Piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Yes, it is. I just gave George a helping hand. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I have a helping hand? Of course you can, Pepper. <laughs> to me, George. Catch, George. <laughs> Pepper loves catching the ball. George loves catching the ball. Everyone loves catching the ball. <laughs> Daddy loses his glasses. <laughs> Daddy Pig wears glasses. He needs to wear glasses to see clearly. When Daddy Pig wears his glasses, everything looks fine. But when Daddy Pig takes his glasses off, he can't see things clearly. Everything looks a bit soft and fuzzy. So it is very important that Daddy Pig knows where his glasses are. Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Peppa, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Peppa and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Peppa looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers. But the glasses are not there either. <coughs> Let's look in the bathroom. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking in the bathroom. The glasses are not in the bath. Oh. The glasses are not in the toilet. Oh. <sighs> it's too difficult. Pepper and George cannot find Daddy Pig's glasses anywhere. We've looked everywhere. 
but we can't find Daddy's glasses. Oh dear, now what can we do? I suppose I'll just have to learn to do without them. If I move slowly, I won't bump into things. There they are! Daddy's glasses! Daddy Pig, you were sitting on them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I wonder how. <laughs> well, you may have been a bit silly, Daddy Pig, but at least you're not grumpy anymore. I was not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are playing at Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa, catch! Oh, 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 oh. Catch! <laughs> What's this? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Oh, 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 oh. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting these seeds. Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Pepper. It will take a long time to grow. Pepper, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. I want strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I love strawberries. Yes. Come on, Peppa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, strawberry. <laughs> Grandpa Pig looks after Peppa's strawberry plant. After many days, Grandpa Pig finds a tiny plant growing. Day by day, the plant grows bigger and bigger. Then one day, Grandpa Pig finds something very special. Strawberries! Grandpa, we're back! Peppa and George have come to play again. Grandpa, Grandpa, did my plant grow? Yes! Look! Ooh! Strawberries! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa, can we plant something else? Yes. Now it's George's turn to choose. <laughs> yes, you choose, George. Choose a carrot. <laughs> Grandpa, I think George wants to grow a carrot. George? Would you like to grow a carrot? No. 
What would you like to grow? <coughs> George has thought of something he wants to grow. <coughs> dinosaur. George wants to grow a dinosaur tree. <laughs> Silly George. <coughs> Dinosaurs don't grow trees. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Hiccups! Pepper, George, Mummy, and Daddy are having breakfast. It is a lovely sunny day. And Pepper and George can't wait to go into the garden to play. <coughs> Mummy, please can we go out to play? You can go out to play when you finish your breakfast. George, don't drink your juice too quickly. <laughs> George drank his juice too quickly and now he has hiccups. <laughs> Can we go out to play now, Bobby? Not while George has hiccups. But George's hiccups have gone, Bobby. Haven't they, George? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, you can go out and play. But look after George. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the garden. George, I'm going to throw the ball and then you have to catch it. <laughs> George, please stop hiccuping. <laughs> George! Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. <laughs> George! Oh dear. George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. <laughs> Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you have done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> <coughs> Close your eyes and turn around quickly three times. Pepper's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shot. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only little. Sorry, Bobby. I was just trying to stop George's hiccups. George's hiccups have gone. Here comes Daddy Pig with two beakers of juice. George, if you drink too quickly, you will get hiccups again. I'm not as little as George. I can drink juice as quickly as I want to. <laughs> Bye, 
Popsicles! It is a lovely sunny day and Pepper and George are riding their bicycles. That's a fine pumpkin, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is very proud of his pumpkin. Pumpkins are the only thing I can grow. Probably because I love pumpkin pie. Come on, George. Danny, Susie, Rebecca. Pepper and her friends Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Rebecca Rabbit are riding their bicycles. George is riding his tricycle. He's going so slowly. <laughs> Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Peppa. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. Well, yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilizers. I can ride without my stabilizers. <laughs> me too. And me. <laughs> Let's ride up the hill again. Well, are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilizers on her bicycle. Daddy, I don't want stabilizers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes. All right, Peppa. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry. I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilizers. Daddy, you let go. <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <laughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look! I don't need my stabilizers anymore. <laughs> look at me! Hooray! <laughs> Race you to Daddy's pumpkin! <laughs> Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she is going. Oh dear, Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are OK. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. Anyway, now the pumpkin is broken, I can make it into pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie! <laughs> And because Daddy Pig's pumpkin is so big, there will be enough pumpkin pie for everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> Mummy Pig has made a special box for Pepper. Pepper, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Peppa. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. 
I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Pepper. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Pepper is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Pepper's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <coughs> dinosaur! George thinks Pepper has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <coughs> anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Pepper's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Pepper. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Pepper likes secrets. Mummy, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Pepper would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Pepper does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One, two, three! George has a drum. <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> Yes, it sounds very nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Pepper's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Pepper, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig all like custard donuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard donut. Can you guess where? Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> Musical instruments. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have been tidying the house. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I found this old box in the attic. <sighs> Ooh. Can anyone guess what's inside? Hmm. Nope. <laughs> it's full of musical instruments. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they are a bit old and dusty. <sighs> ah, chew. <laughs> <laughs> this is the violin I used to play when I was little. Mummy, can you play your violin? I haven't played it for a long time. Please, Mummy, please play it. <laughs> I hope I haven't forgotten how. <laughs> Mummy, 
Mummy, can I play the violin? Hold it like this. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Oh. oh dear, I do not think it is meant to sound like that <coughs> George wants to try Hold it like this, George <coughs> oh. oh, that does not sound quite right either The violin is too hard to play Pepper, maybe you would do better with this tin drum Thank you, Daddy That sounds better Pepper loves playing the drum. Oh, lovely! Yes, it sounds very nice. This is Daddy Pig's old accordion. I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to play the accordion too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> oh. Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. That does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. That really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> That does not sound right either. <sighs> Peppa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. You play it beautifully. <laughs> well, I do play it quite nicely, even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Pepper plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? <laughs> George is blowing the horn. Mummy couldn't play the horn. And Daddy couldn't play it. And even I couldn't play it. <laughs> but George can play it. <laughs> It is raining today, so Pepper and George cannot play outside. Daddy, it's not raining. Can we go out to play? <laughs> All right. Run along, you two. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper loves jumping in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> George likes to jump in muddy puddles too. George, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Peppa likes to look after her little brother, George. <laughs> George, let's find some more puddles. <laughs> Pepper and 
and George are having a lot of fun. Pepper has found a little puddle. George has found a big puddle. <laughs> Look, George. There's a really big puddle. George wants to jump into the big puddle first. Stop, George. I must check if it's safe for you. Good. It is safe for you. <laughs> Sorry, George. It's only bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. Come on, George, let's go and show Daddy. <laughs> Let me think. Have you been watching television? No, no, Daddy. Have you just had a bath? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I know. You've been jumping in muddy puddles. Yes, yes, Daddy. We've been jumping in muddy puddles. Ho, oh, oh. ho. And look at the mess you're in. Ooh. Oh, well. It's only mud. Let's clean up quickly before Mummy sees the mess. Daddy, when we've cleaned up, will you and Mummy come and play too? Yes, we can all play in the garden. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. Mummy and Daddy are wearing their boots. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, Daddy Pig, look at the mess you're in. It's only mud. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.